Chun Yang, a Korean folk tale. Characters Chun Yang, most beautiful girl of a Korean village, pure hearted artist from a humble family, faithful wife, doomed to death by the new Namun magistrate. Yi Myung Myung, nobleman, tend tender hearted, very talented, and a brilliant man, handsome young man, a courageous man who is willing to brave out all the odds just to save his loved one. Namwon's new magistrate, surname Bion, asked for Chun Yang heart for marriage, a wicked greedy governor. Other character, Pangja, servant confidant, Walme, mother of Chun Yang. Exposition. Once there lived in the province of Chola, in the town of Namon, a magistrate's son named Yi Myung Myung and a lovely maiden named Chun Yang. Rising action. Not long after the secret marriage, the servant brought Yi Myung Myung a message saying that his father, newly appointed to the king's cabinet, was able to recall to the capital. Rising action. Yi Myung Myung, who was to accompany his father, went that evening to Chun Myung and told her the bad news. The young couple was forced to say a tearful goodbye at the Magpie Bridge. Climax. The new Nyam Won's magistrate arrived and summoned Chun Myung to be his wife. Chun Myung refused because he committed to Yi Myung Myung her defiancé enraged the magistrate and he ordered her taken to prison and sentenced to death. Falling Action Yi Myung Myung arrived in Namun and learned of the situation. He dressed himself as a beggar to enter the palace during a feast given by the Namun magistrate. He revealed himself as Amhengosa and banished the evil magistrate to a faraway land. He also saved Chun Yang from miserable, miserable death. The now moment. Yi Myung Myung took his bride to Seoul and pretended her to his parent. They accept her as a daughter-in-law. In time, Chun Yang bore three sons and two daughters and they all lived happily for many years. Theme. Fidelity is the key to a lasting relationship.